It's quite right. He made a lot of mistakes. However, he did a very good thing at the end. And for that, he is commended. What did he do that was so well? He didn't look back. His wife did. So the lesson here is that if you set your hand to the plow, I don't have the verse in my mind, but if you set your hand to the plow, you mustn't look back. The good thing is to continue to the end. Lot did that. His wife looked back. She liked Sodom and Gomorrah, that awful place where there was sex going on between uh, angels, actually, and people living in Sodom. It was a horrible sexual nonsense in that town. And she liked that enough to look back. What Lot did so well, after having made many mistakes, you're absolutely right, he did, but he's commended for this one thing, that he decided to do what the angel said, get out of there, don't look back, don't love Sodom and Gomorrah and its terrible sins. It's just a symbol of evil, transgender, sexual nonsense of all sorts. Don't look back. That's why he did well. He left and he escaped. Jesus is not just a nice chap. He's not in our model of a concept of a nice chap. That would be taken today to be very tough. You let the dead people do their burying of the dead and you get out and preach the kingdom of God. That's the first command of Jesus in Mark 1. Paul is the same. He's absolutely duty bound and you might say absorbed to the point of obsession with preaching the gospel about the kingdom. If you don't understand the gospel of the kingdom, you must learn it. The gospel has to be defined in the terms that Jesus gave it. So that is very tough. Lot then eventually did well by getting away from that horrible Sodomite situation in Sodom and Gomorrah. And his wife looked back and God made a point there for us to remember forever. She turned into a pillar of salt. That's simply amazing, isn't it? The Bible, I suggest, is a very simple book in one sense, but very, very tough. So take seriously the uncompromising words of Paul and of Jesus. It's not exactly the sort of religion that we might want to invent for ourselves, but that's not the point. God makes the rules. He speaks to us through Jesus, through the apostles, and we better take those words with utmost seriousness.